Good evening. How are you today, Roxana? Great. Yes. How was the weekend? Great. Yesterday we celebrate uh, my older brother's birthday. Oh, nice. Yes, in, in, in the US. <laughs> so nice. Uh, you had a party, right? Yes. Okay, good. Um, and what else did you do? Oh, sorry, tell me. Um, the, um, oh. no, lunch, um, lunch and um, cake. Oh, okay. You had lunch together and ate some cake. All right, it sounds, sounds nice. And how about Saturday? How was it? No, Sunday. That was on Sunday. And on yes. Saturday, what did you do? Um, I was um, go went uh, my my cat on veterinary to the vet. You take your cat. You took your cat to the vet. My my cat is uh, sick. Oh, it was sick. Really? Is it better now? I, I, um, it's how, um, I was saying, uh, okay, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. oh, all right, yes, um, yes, now, yes, is it something. better? Oh, wow, what is it better now? Is that mejor? Um, do they uh, be, begin a treatment? Oh, okay. You're beginning with the treatment. Yes. All yes. right. For okay. for uh, twenty five days. Oh, okay. Yes. So you have to take care of it. Yes. All right. That's good, Roxana. And how about the platform? Have you finished? Uh, no. I, I I need a quiz for oh. finish okay. section section five. You're yes. just missing the oh, final yeah, exam. Yes. All right, sounds good. Let's see, mm -hmm. Reina Costa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Reina? I find teacher. Okay, nice. How was the weekend? Um, very good. Um, I was at home and in rest. Okay, you got some time to rest. That is very good. And the platform, Reina, have you finished? Yes, I finished. You're done. Okay. All right, excellent. <laughs> Thank you. The Evis, good evening. Evis, good evening. Hello, Evis. Okay, and um, so let me see, Roxana and Reina, do you have any questions about any of the topics or the exercises in the platform? 
No question, teacher. Okay. And Roxana, any questions? No. But it's difficult for me. What is it? One, one, one. I I don't know. Quantifiers. Oh, the quantifiers. Okay, we can take a look at them if you would like to. Um, yes, let's go here to the platform. Good evening, Rene. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, fine, teacher. All right, great. How was the weekend? Well, uh, um, it's very to Mom's house. Uh, oh. she, is, uh, she is recovering from a, an operation. I went to a company, a company here, her. A company here, okay. A company here. All right. <clears throat> I hope she gets better soon. Please, please, pardon, teacher. Oh, I hope she gets better soon. Espero que se mejore pronto, su mamá. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then the platform, Rene, have you finished? Uh, no, teacher. I, no. I finished uh, unit, unit four. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and I'm not uh, starting uh, start the unit uh, five, but five. but uh, but hope uh, tomorrow I finish uh, unit uh, five. Okay. Yes. Just remember, you have to complete it um, the most on Wednesday. So that is the last day. Okay. Okay. See. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay. I know. Good. Roberto, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Roberto? Oh, fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Great. I'm doing well. Thanks. How was the weekend? Oh, oh fine. It, that's okay because it's the, I'm meeting with my family in the oh. dinner. All right. I'm glad to hear that. In the platform, Roberto? Uh, now I begin the Five. Okay. Five You're in section five already. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Keep going. Okay. All right. So we were just uh, going to take a look at the quantifiers over here. Uh, we got quantifiers to indicate a um, like a percentage of um, of people or of things that that can happen or can be. I mean. It can be identified according to a specific description. And we got some different kinds of quantifiers. We got all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. And here we have some different examples, but let me tell you first uh, what each of them means. Uh, we got all, todos. Nearly all, casi todos, most, la mayoría, many, eh, muchos, a lot of, que sería muy parecido a many, muchos, eh, some, algunos, not many, no muchos, a few, and few, pocos, and no one, nadie, o ninguno. And then we use them in sentences, for example, when we say all families have only one child. All families, todas las familias. Todas las familias tienen un solo hijo. Or we could use here different ones, like a lot of families have only one child. Acá podríamos utilizar cualquiera de estos, excepto no one, que es diferente. Eh, podríamos decir en lugar de all families, a lot of families have only one child. Eh, muchas familias tienen un solo hijo. Or we could also say a few families have only one child. 
Pocas familias tienen un solo hijo. And we got some other examples such as um, nearly all families are smaller these days or a lot of families are, sm are smaller these days. And we could also say not many families are smaller these days. And I mean, we use the quantifiers to quantify, right? To indicate like the percentage that or people or things that apply to some specific description. Utilizamos los quantifiers para eh, hablar del porcentaje de, de personas o de cosas que aplican en cuanto a, a una cierta descripción. Por ejemplo, acá que estamos hablando de las familias con un solo hijo, podríamos decir que son muchas, que son, perdón, que son todas, que son casi todas, que son muchas, que son algunas o que son pocas, dependiendo de lo que estemos describiendo. Y eh, se utilizan de esta forma, como lo ven, eh, se usa el quantifier al principio, luego utilizamos la, el noun de lo que nos estamos refiriendo, todas las familias, algunas familias, o acá habla de las parejas, eh, puedo cambiarlo a, um, for example, we could say all kids like candy, all kids like candy, a todos los niños les gusta, oh, wait a little, give me a second. So we could make another example like all kids like candy. Acá podemos decir todos los niños, eh, a todos los niños les gustan los dulces. Eh, here we use the quantifier, utilizamos el quantifier primero, o luego el noun, que sería kids, que es a lo que me estoy refiriendo, a los niños, y luego eh, la descripción, ¿verdad? Lo que estoy considerando, que es que, que les gustan los dulces. Or eh, you could also make another one like no one likes, um, let's say, snakes. No one likes snakes. A nadie le gustan las culebras. Um, let's try to make some more. A few students brought the homework. A few students brought the homework. Pocos estudiantes trajeron la tarea. A few students. Entonces los utilizamos de esa forma para indicar el porcentaje de personas o de cosas que aplican a cierta descripción. Eh, no sé si quedamos claros con eso. ¿Tenemos alguna consultita? ¿Do we have any questions? Similar, similar, uh, almost, majority. Eh, is, is a majority uh, most? Eh, majority and most. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yes, you can say the majority, but uh, the most common one is most. So yes, majority is not commonly and, used, but you can. Almost? Almost. Uh, here you can say almost all families, for instance. Oh, yep. Frequency. Mm -hmm. So almost could be another one. Almost would be similar to nearly all. Almost all, casi todos, or casi todas. Any other questions? No more? Okay, and so later we're going to have some more practice about this, okay? And now let's... Let's go to today's practice. We're going to check the exercises that we were doing last class. And the first thing I want to remember about is how we made make invitations using would. Mm. So mm. remember that we used would you like, like would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to come for a meal? And then we got some different expressions to accept and to decline the invitations. We got, for example, thank you, I would love to, I'd like to, that sounds lovely, what a great idea, thanks for your invitation, I'd be delighted to, sounds great, that'd be wonderful. Those are some ways of accepting 
Then if we want to refuse the invitations, we can say, I would like to, but I, and then you explain, right? I'd love to, but I, thank you for asking me, but I don't think I can, sorry, I don't think I can make it. So, and those are some different expressions we may use when answering to an invitation. So let me see, um, let's repeat them. Uh, everybody repeat, thank you, I would love to. Thank you, thank you, I would, I would love, love to. to. I'd like to. I'd like, like, like to. That sounds lovely. That sounds, that sounds lovely. lovely. What a great idea. What a, what a great, great idea. idea. Thanks for your invitation. I'd be delighted to. Thank, Thank you for your invitation. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. That'd be wonderful. Um, that'd, be that'd be wonderful. Be wonderful. <laughs> I would like to, but I. I would I'd like, like to, to, but, but I, I. But I. I'd love to, but I. I love to, I love but, but I. I. Thank you for asking me, but. Thank, thank you for you asking, you me, but asking I, me, but. I don't think I can. I don't, I don't think, think I can. I don't think I can. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Sorry, I don't think I can make it. Okay, now let's continue practicing with the exercises we had last class. So here we have to make some different invitations using the information that we get. And remember that we use, would you like? So they would go like, would you like, you like to? Young, young Yes. So you say, would you like to join me for coffee? Or would you like to have lunch with me? Would you like to come to the cinema tonight? And would you like to go to the watch? So, sorry. Would you like to go to watch the parade? Um, and so on, right? You just use, would you like to? And then you add the invitation, right? The activity that you want to do with the person you are inviting. So let's try to make some invitations and give some answers. You can either um, accept them or decline them, refuse them. Let me try. Reina Acosta, would you like to join me for coffee? Reina Acosta. Um, would you like to join me for coffee? <clears throat> I would love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Remember, if you accept them, you can say, I'd love to, I'd like to, hey, that sounds lovely, that's a great idea. And if you decline, then you can that's say, a great idea. <laughs> okay, very well. <laughs> And remember that if you do not accept the invitation, that would be, I, I would like to, but I can't, for instance. I'd love to, but I have to work and so on. Okay, very well, Reina. Now you ask the second question to one of your classmates, please. Would you like? To have lunch with me, Rene. Excuse me. <laughs> Would you like to have lunch with me? I would like. I I would like. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I. Yes, I would. I would. I would like. Eat. Okay, very well. Rene, now you ask one of your classmates, please. You uh, come to the cinema. Sanamaya. I 
I would, I would like uh, drink some tea. Uh, repeat it, please, Rene. Would you like to? Would you like to drink some tea? Thank you for your invitation, but I um, have a compromise. Okay, uh, you have a, an appointment, for instance. Oh, how do you say compromiso? Like, mm, hmm, let me check that word for you. A commitment. Commitment. Yep. Yes. Cool. Okay, very good, Roxana. Now you ask another person, please. Yes. Yes. Would you like to play soccer with me? Would you like? Evis, are you there? Okay, how about we ask Madeline then? Madeline, okay. Madeline, would you like to play soccer with me? I would like, but I don't can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, very good, Madeline. Now you ask um, another person, please. We got Roberto, Marta, and... Okay. Yep. So, would you like to read a magazine, Roberto? We love, we love, but I don't like to read. Okay, great. Now, Roberto, you ask Marta. Marta, would you like to drink some tea? Yes, I love to. Good, Marta, you can ask Lourdes. Okay. Lourdes, would you like to come to the barbecue at the tennis club? I won't like. Okay, very well. So that is the way we make invitations, right? We use, would you like to? And then another verb and a compliment. Would you like to join me for coffee? Would you like to have lunch with me? Would you like to come to the cinema tonight? Would you like to go to watch the parade? Would you like to come to the barbecue at the tennis club? Would you like to drink some tea? Would you like to read a magazine? And would you like to play soccer with me. Then in the next exercise, we had to use the verb be, right? We had to make some sentences in all three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So we got the first one, which is I am Michael. Then we got the negative, I am not Michael. And the question, what is the question? Am I? I am. And I'm Michael. Am I, I'm Michael. Or here, if you'd like to switch it to you, you can also do it. Are you Michael? So any of those could be uh, the question. Then in number two, what is the affirmative? You are my brother. You are my brother. You Negative. Are my brother. Are you, no, you are not my brother. You are not my brother. And the question? Are you my brother? Are you? Are you my brother? Good. Number three. He is an engineer. He is an engineer. He is not an engineer. He is not an engineer or he isn't an engineer. And the question is? Is he an engineer? Is he an engineer? Okay, number four, she is pretty. Make it negative. She isn't pretty. She is not pretty. 
She is not pretty in the costume. She is pretty. Is she pretty? Okay, number five. It is lovely. It is lovely. It isn't lovely. Then the question. Is it lovely? Is it lovely? Okay, number six. We are, we are a good friend. We are good friends. Negative. We are not good friends. We are not good friends. And the question is: Are we good friends? Are we good friends? Number seven. They are co-workers. Negative. They are no co-workers. They are not co-workers or they aren't co-workers. The question is, are they co-workers? Co Number eight. I am a painter. I am a painter. I am a painter. Negative. I am not a painter. I am not a painter. And the question is, I am a painter. I am a painter. Am I a painter? Okay, next one, number nine. He is my, he son. Is my son. He is my son. He is not my son. He isn't my son or he is not my son. And the he interrogative is form. He is my son. The interrogative form, the question is? Is he my son? Yes, is he my son? And the last one, they are my nephews. They are my nephews. Okay, negative. They, they, they are, are not, not nephews. my nephews. They are not my nephews. And the question, are, are they, they my, nep my nephews? Are they my nephews? Very well. Let's continue with the next exercise where we had to use the the simple present, right? So we had to unscramble the sentences first and then we had to make them negative and interrogative. And wait a little, just get, let me get this. Okay, there we go. So number one is we. We, we are. We. Can you unscramble we are, it? We are drink tea. Every day. Okay, here we do not use are, we just use the verb because we're talking oh, about the simple okay. present, right? So okay. just we drink tea. Tea, tea every, every day. day. Every, every day. day. Good. We drink tea every day. Make it negative. We not drink. We, we, we don't we, drink. We don't. We don't. Tea every day. Mm -hmm. Very well. So just remember that in the simple present, we use the auxiliary verbs do and does. And for the negative, we got don't and does it. So here, the question would be, do we drink tea every day? So we got, we drink tea every day. We don't drink tea every day. And do we drink tea every day? Number two. Frank studies biology. What Frank is the negative? Fran doesn't study biology. Frank okay. Doesn't. And the question? Does Frank study biology? Frank Does Frank study biology? Number three. This bird has has beautiful colors. This bird has beautiful colors. Negative? That's not. This bird has beautiful colors. Okay, the negative goes like this bird doesn't have beautiful colors. Remember that for, um, for the verb have, if the third person is has. So in the case of the negative, we have to change it back to the base form, right? So this bird doesn't have beautiful colors, we see. 
And the, the question is, Does this bird have this beautiful bird. colors? Does this bird have beautiful colors? There we go. Number four. Many shops close at seven o'clock. Make it negative. That's that's many shops. That's many shops. That's or do that's me. Because we're talking about mm -hmm. shops, which is plural. Many, many mm -hmm. shops don't close at seven o'clock. Yes, many shops don't close at seven o'clock. And the question? That's so many shops. Do. Do many do, shops? Do, do many. Okay. okay, let me write that for you. So we got the negative. Many shops don't close at seven o'clock. Then we have the question. Do many shops close at seven o'clock? There we go. Number five, what's the sentence? A woman never says her age. A woman never says her age. Can you make it negative, please? A woman do not does. A woman does not. A woman does not. Say her age. Say her age. Oh, very well. And here we cannot use the, the word never because it is already negative. So if we use a never in a negative sentence, we're using double negative, right? which is not mm -hmm. correct in English. So we would say just, a woman does not tell her age or say, hey, say her age. And the question would be? What would it be? That's a woman. That's a woman. Say no, her no, age. Never say her age. Okay, in the question, we do not use never, once again. So we only say in the negative, let me get another color. So in the negative, it would become a woman does not or does doesn't not. say her age. Her age. In the question, does a woman Say her age. Does a woman say her age? That's how it goes. Okay, then we got the next one, which is the, the gardener cuts the grass. Make it negative, please. The gardener cuts the grass. The gardener does not cut the grass. The gardener does not cut the grass. And the question is? Does the gardener cut the grass? Yes. Number seven, my father travels to Spain twice a year. Negative? My father, my father don't. 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 Remember, my we're seven. talking about my father. Six. So my father, my father doesn't, doesn't travel. Travel to Spain twice a year. And the question would be? Does father Does my father travel to Spain twice a year? Okay, number eight. We brush our teeth twice. Oh no, three times. We brush our teeth three times a day. Negative? We do not brush. We do not brush our, our teeth three times, times a day. day. Good. 
now uh, make the question, please. Do we brush? Do we, do we brush? Do we brush our teeth three times a day? Okay, number nine, we grade the answers. Negative, we don't grade the answers. And questions, the, do we uh, grade the answers? And the last one, he takes the bus. He doesn't take the bus. Take and the bus. does he take the bus? the bus? Okay, very well. And do we have any questions about the exercises we just checked? We're good. Okay, now I got some more practice for you to keep on reviewing the topics we have previously, previously studied. So we got in number one, you have to talk about your daily routine. Here, you do not write, you only speak. Talk about your daily routine. I wake up at six in the morning. I take a shower, I get dressed. I eat breakfast, then I go to work and so on. Then after that, you have to make some comparative adjectives, write them. For example, here, big becomes bigger, old, older, and so on. In exercise three, you have to make sentences using comparatives. So here we have two things to compare in an adjective. You make sentences, for example, cars and bicycles in the adjective fast. We can say cars are faster than bicycles. Cars are faster than bicycles. Elephants are heavier than ants. My brother is more handsome than me, and so on. And then, well, we're just going to keep it as three. So let me send you to the breakout room so you can work together with your classmates. And I'm going to send the exercises to the WhatsApp group in just a moment. Okay. All right, so there we go. I'll be visiting you in a moment. Hello, hi, how are you doing? Did you get the exercises? Did you get no. the exercises? Recibieron los ejercicios? Eh, sí. Okay. Okay, eh, quiero ver. Los demás están ahí. Hello. Hola, yo estoy. Ok. Eh... Eh, 
Eh, no sé si los puede compartir. Eh, Reina. No, lo siento. No, no sé qué pasa, pero no puedo compartirte la tablet. Bueno, pero yo no sé cómo hacerlo. Eh, yo los comparto, pero ahorita tengo problema en que me cargue el WhatsApp. Y eh, alguien me puede tal vez. You didn't start with number one, which was only talking about your daily routine. So you can start by talking. WhatsApp también en la computadora, pero no me abre. Okay. Roberto, what is your daily routine? My um, my routine. Um, I I so you can say I wake up. I wake up. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I wake up at um, uh, six six um, a.m. I I I take a shower. Um, And do you eat breakfast uh, or go to work? What do you do next? Ah, uh, yeah. And next, um, uh, take a, a breakfast uh, at uh, 8 a.m. And next, uh, I work in my house. Um, um, 12 p.m. I take a, a food. Uh, I take a lunch. And lunch, okay. Next, um, and I finish my work at um, 5 p.m. Okay. 5 p.m. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. My daily routine is I wake up at 6 a.m. Later, I take a shower. Also, I, I get dressed and I have breakfast and I brush my teeth. Then I, I am going to work and I, I have lunch and I take a break. In the afternoon, I check my email and I do my homework. <laughs> And I return my house. Finally, I I have dinner. I have dinner and I sleep. Good. Okay. Oscar, what what is your daily routine? Uh, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Take a shower. Then I eat my breakfast and I then go to work. 
I enter my work at eight uh, o'clock in the morning and then the stressfulness of the day begins. <laughs> okay. Reina, what is your daily routine? Um, I get up at uh, six, six o'clock, but I get up seven o'clock. I take a shower. I had my, I have dressed. Get um, dressed? Sí, dressed. Mm -hmm. I have breakfast. Um, I start work in my home at eight o'clock. Mm. I have a lunch. Oh, I make a lunch. I have a lunch. Uh, February. It's colder, June. It's colder than. Yes. February is colder Pardon? than June. <coughs> Remember to use then. February okay. is colder than June. It's colder than. Then. Teacher, then the snakes, the snack, longer worms. Snakes are longer than worms. Are longer than. Yes. Mount Everest is more higher, Mount Blanc. And we only say higher. Mount Everest is higher than Mount Mount Blanc. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And the number three teacher, uh, the oh my brother is more handsome uh, with me or than or, me, than me. So whenever you're comparing, me, you use me. then. Uh -huh. Después del adjetivo se so utiliza okay. siempre then. Faster than, heavier than, more handsome than, higher than. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Chinese is more difficult than Portuguese, or, or Portuguese is. The, it's much difficult than Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay. It's more difficult than Chinese. Mm, I, I, jo I, I younger, I younger than, than my parents, teacher. My parents. Yes, I'm younger than my parents. 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 Mm -hmm. Teacher says parents. Yes, my parents. <laughs> Pencil. <clears throat> my pencil is shorter than yours. Mm -hmm. My pencil is shorter than yours. Thank you. 
butterfly is more pretty uh, than bear. Mm, the butterfly is prettier than the bird. Okay. okay. The butterfly I... is prettier. Yes, the butterfly is prettier than than bear. Than the bird. The rhino, the rhino, being, being, than zebra. It's bigger, bigger. The rhino is bigger. The rhino is bigger than it's bigger than zebra. The rhino is bigger than the zebra. This zebra. 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 Let me see. noise and then corner. The parrots are noisier than the canaries, or you can oh. say the parrot is noisier than the canary. Canary. How do you mean noisy, uh, teacher? Noisy and um, delicioso. Okay. All right, do you have any questions, any doubts about the exercises? No? Not yet. Okay, Porque fine. In Spanish, I muchas veces no sé cómo usar los, 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 los prefijos antes de las. Oh. Pensi is much. Okay, I'll see you in a moment then. Okay. No. 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 O sea que es más bulliciosa o algo así. Ya, yeah. mm, más yes. ruidosa. You're right. Mm -hmm. Did you finish? Okay. Are you done? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Do we have any questions, any doubts? Yeah. Um, and heavy, heavy. Mm -hmm. What is the comparative? It's heavier, heavier than it goes heavier. by H E A V I E R. So we okay. change the Y for, for I E R, right? Heavier than. That's how it goes. Any other doubt? Okay, entonces en the, no, the number 12 is noiser. Noisier. The parrot is noisier than the canary. Noisier, once again, you okay. change the Y for I E R. Noisier, okay.
esto era un ejercicio, ¿no es verdad? Um, yes, you can no. do it. Uh, we got some minutes. So you can make a comparison between cities and towns. You can choose, for example, you can say living in a city is better than living in a town because uh, the city is more modern than the town, for instance. And we can mention ah. some different uh, advantages of living in a city or living in a town. Is it clear? Pueden comparar vivir en una ciudad y vivir en, una, en un pueblo. Eh, pueden ir diciendo como cuál es mejor, qué ventajas tendría vivir en una ciudad, qué ventajas tendría en vivir en un pueblo. Like, I mean, which one is better? Ok. Como decir, the city is noisier than town. Exactly. Ok. That's right. See you in a couple of minutes. There are more public transportation in the town. ¿Cuáles serían ejemplos de la, de, del pueblo? De vivir en un pueblo. The town is quieter than the city. <laughs> Living in a town is uh, funnier. In the town is less noise. Less noisy? Less noisy. Mm -hmm. The city, everything is very close. For example, restaurant, bands, cinemas, shopping center, zoo, theater, hospital, pharmacies, and more. And in the town, the weather is nice. Yeah. In the town, always, yes. always have abundant food. <laughs> abundant food. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Enough. Abundante. Abundante. Enough. Um, enough food. Enough food. Uh -huh. Or, oh, yeah, we got another word which is abundant. Abundant. Okay. Uh -huh. Or plenty, uh -huh. that is more common, plenty. plenty. Mm. All right, we're coming, the back. Eye, the eye. we're coming back in just a couple of seconds, okay? All right, welcome back everybody. So um, that will be all for today's session. Tomorrow we are going to check today's practice and that will be it. Remember to keep working on the platform, please. If you have not completed um, the section five, please do it because we only have three days, right?
We got until Wednesday to complete everything. So please keep working. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good Thank night. you. Good night, everybody.